It's been a while since I sat down and did a Blu-ray haul. It's been a while. Okay. First of all, ashy slashy. So it's a Blu-ray haul. <coughs> Man, what's going on with my throat? <coughs> it's a Blu-ray haul. I have a DVD. DVD set. And I got some new chutes. So I'll show you those. First up, because it is December, we got a Disney classic. Tron. I've seen this once uh, in preparation for, you know, Tron. Legacy was coming out. So I wanted to... Excuse me. <clears throat> I'll keep Ashy Slashy there. I got tickle in my throat today. Don't worry, I'm fine. <clears throat> Alright, open it to see the. Oh, wait a minute. Blu ray actually has some art on it, which is strange. Usually. I wonder how this is going to look in HD. Hopefully, it fits the whole stream. So, yeah, Tron, classic. Next, little known, this actually, doesn't say it on here, but it's produced by Disney, and this is <clears throat> Popeye. Finally got this on Blu-ray, had a DVD for a while. Come here, Ash. Yep. Eh. Eh, I hope there'd be some kind of fancy artwork on the disc, but <clears throat> no. This is one next one is one I've been wanting to get for a while, but I haven't seen it out. Now it's out. I got it kind of cheap. Batman Ninja. I've heard a lot of things about this. I haven't actually seen it myself. They had another DC movie there, Wonder Woman Bloodlines, but I'm like, eh, nah. No, thank you. I'm fine. I like Wonder Woman, but uh, uh. <clears throat> my discs. What are those? Yeah. Next, I decided to break down and buy three Christmas movies. The first one I already have on the DVD, but I saw that there was a Blu-ray and had to get it. It's even got the Wally Moose cup on it. Last in the Lampoon's Christmas Vacation, the Blu-ray. <clears throat> eh. Typical. Disc. But it's red, so it's cool. These other two are... They're designated as Christmas classics, but I have not seen them. First one is It's a Wonderful Life with Jimmy Stewart. Let's see if the sticker comes off clean, shall we? It does. I don't have to get pissed. <clears throat> Donna Reed. Didn't she have her own sitcom or something back in the olden days? Sounds familiar. They're your standard Paramount, huh? Oh, so... Oh, there's a colorized version and a black and white version. Hmm. I don't know. I may watch the black and white version first, just so I can see it in all its glory, and then at some other time the colorized version, but... I love me some Jimmy Stewart. You ever seen Mr. Smith Goes to Washington? That's not a bad movie. I ran it from the library once. Not bad. And then we have something that I don't didn't really need to buy because they won't stop playing it every Christmas for 24 hours. But I thought, why the hell not? Christmas Story. You'll poke your eye out. 
I know a bunch of the stuff from the movie, but I've never actually seen the movie. So now I have no excuse. You know, not my fault. You know, people say, oh, why don't you watch Christmas Story? It's a good movie. I choose to watch Die Hard on Christmas, okay? That's a Christmas movie. Yeah, nothing. It's a disc. I am planning on doing a video of all the Christmas movies that I own. <clears throat> Down the line before Christmas starts. Before Christmas happens. So, look for that. Now, next is not only showing you, but it's an unboxing. I saw this. Finally had to grab this. It's a classic show from when I grew up. It's a classic sitcom. It was classic when I was growing up. That's the Dick Van Dyke Show. So, we're gonna... Give me Ash. Give me that. So, hold on. We're gonna, I'm gonna move this so that you guys can see what I'm unboxing here. Okay, so here's the box. Take that off. And then in the side here we have the seasons. One, two, three, four, five. So, slide them out here. <clears throat> I'm glad they're in regular cases because I hate those ones that come in uh those weird things that sometimes they ruin it but your season one season two i have to put some of this on later i love this show season three each has a little paper thing in there i'm noticing uh-oh, these fell out. He's okay. No scratch. Season four. And season... Five. Apparently, Dick Van Dyke is a bullfighter. Black and white. The pictures they're showing are colorized. See that? It is black and white, and that's cool. I like old black and white TV shows just fine. You know? Oh, and there's a book. Collectible coloring book. You can color their backgrounds. Interesting. Hmm. On the back, drawing done by Dick Van Dyke. You got Dick Van Dyke and uh, Mary Tyler Moore. Um, Maury Amsterdam. Rosemary. Very good. That's... Here's the inside thing. I think I just saw one thing off, but that's cool. Little collage. On the top is a color collage. That is really cool. I'm finally glad I got this. So there it is. That's my Blu-ray DVD haul. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I knew I was going to forget them. These are my shoes. So... Show you one of them. These are nice. Look at that. Nice nachos. I'll get to try them out later because I gotta go over to High V and get some wrapping paper for a Christmas present I got my mom. Cause I was stupid and didn't think about buying someone else at Walmart, so I have to go out. So I'll be giving these bad boys a test run. So So there we go. What do you think of my haul? My movies, TV show, the juice. Let me know in the comments below. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. I'm Scotty. See you in the next one. Oh, by the way, before I go, just to know, I should have a review for Herbie 
fully loaded later on today, followed by the ranking for the Herbie movies. Just so you know. And I'm going to work on maybe trying to get the TV, sh TV series, my opinions on it and stuff. I started watching the first episode, didn't finish. Not because I wasn't into it, I just wanted to wait. But my weekend's opened, so we'll see. But until then, like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you.